morning after I cooked. I was kidding. Hi everybody, it's Don from Don's Kitchen again. Uh, we're trying something a little bit different with the video today. Kind of a slideshow with a, a voiceover that I'm recording after I cooked. Uh, which gave me a lot of time to actually concentrate on the recipe, which is nice. And today we're making the potato omelet. And here you see the ingredients. You got uh, one potato, about a third of a small onion, half a jalapeno, uh, a couple of eggs, some butter, salt and pepper, and uh, that's about it. So what you want to do is peel your potato, and then we're going to shred it with a box grater. Now, I usually make a big chunky style hash browns, but I got a little bit tired of those because I eat them so much, so I've been working on this, this shredded, more standard hash brown style, and it's working out pretty good. Uh, the secret is, I found, is to kind of wash them off beforehand and get some of that stickier starch out of there. Now, you might lose some vitamins this way, but uh, I think the results are worth it. So just cover them up with cold water, uh, swish them around a little bit, and then drain them off. And you also want to kind of squeeze out any excess water that you can. And then get a paper towel and uh, lay the shreds out there, uh, kind of, you know, on a thin layer. And this will soak up some more of the water and allow them to dry while you finish or start the rest of the recipe here. <clears throat> so now we got a nice non-stick skillet. That's going to help with this recipe a lot. It's hard to turn this thing over as it cooks. And we're going to add about a teaspoon of oil to the pan. And you can see here I'm dicing up my onions. Uh, slice the jalapenos. Take the seeds out if you don't want it spicy. But I like the spiciness of this jalapeno seed, so I leave them in usually. <clears throat> And you also see I have my eggs sitting out while I cook. Uh, I like to let them kind of heat up to room temperature while I cook everything else. Uh, this allows them to cook a little more even and a little quicker when we're ready to use them. So I've got the onions and peppers in there, and we're just going to cook those until they soften. And we don't want them to brown up just yet. There'll be plenty of time for them to brown while we're doing the hash browns. So. It's just going to take about a minute or two to do these onions and peppers. And then we're going to add about a tablespoon of butter and let that melt and then add in your hash browns. It should be fairly dry but still kind of uh, starchy. Now I'm also adding about a, less than a third of a cup of water, maybe a third of a cup. And then we'll cover it up and let these potatoes steam for about six or seven minutes. And you're going to want to keep an eye on them while they do this because they might tend to stick and you'll probably have to add a little bit more water. Uh, to add, it's best to add a, a, a little too less at the beginning and then add, add a little bit more water here. I didn't add enough. Okay, here I am checking the potatoes. Like I said, you want to keep an eye on them, kind of give them a stir or a flip if you got a, a quick wrist there. And uh, I need to add a little bit more water here. I didn't add enough, which is uh, it's good. You just want to keep them moist while they steam. And some nice cooked potatoes that are real. All right, these potatoes have been going for about six or seven minutes now, and I think we're ready to continue. Some more, and some nice cooked potatoes that are real kind of sticky at this point with the starch. And I add a little more butter to here to uh, help keep them from sticking, and uh, also some salt and pepper. And now what you're going to want to do is turn the heat up a little bit, or we're going to start browning these potatoes. In the meantime, you can get the eggs ready. I just like to add like a half a teaspoon of water to my eggs, and a little salt and pepper. And the water allows them to fluff up a bit while you're cooking. I think it turns the steam and just kind of helps the eggs rise up. It's a really nice touch when you're making eggs. <laughs> it's easy shot there. <laughs> okay, these browns are starting to uh, brown a bit. And what you want to do is kind of Brown them up slowly, flipping them over, and kind of mix it up a bit to expose some of the uh, uncooked hash browns as you're working. Now it's starting to get a little bit of color. Um, now as you work towards the end, you want to kind of make sure that the hash browns stay in one big patty. And as you start to get a nice good color, you want to get ready to finish off. And when you do that, just add a little bit more butter and then flip it and brown off one side real good. Uh, because that's the last time you're going to cook that side. And here I've got a nice color on this side, so I'm ready to add my egg mixture on this. <clears throat> so we'll get the eggs ready to go. We'll give them a good, uh, another whip, make sure they're nice and uh, integrated. 
Now I'm going to push the uh, potatoes in and make a little bit of room on the edge of the pan. And then just pour my egg mixture over this. Now you want to kind of reduce the heat here and then take a spoon and kind of push the egg mixture into the center of the pan while you swirl it around and cook the eggs a little more on the outside. And then I'll cover it up for about a minute while and let, let it steam. This will help it cook. And now you have to kind of release this whole mixture from the pan. Just swirl it around a bit and then give it a good flip. You can flip it over and uh, you should have a nice beautiful hash brown surrounded by the eggs. Just lay it out, fold it over like an omelet and uh, there you have it. My potato omelet. Uh, this is actually my favorite recipe at the moment. I really love this. Nice and spicy, crispy, moist hash browns and those fluffy eggs. You can't go wrong with that. So thanks for stopping by and watching me cook again and I'll see you soon in my kitchen. Bye for now. Yum. <laughs>